believe it or not. There's hobbits down there, by the way. It's actually not really hobbits. They just do so much bungee jumping that it actually the impact of the bottom of the short. All right, All right. I'm done with my filler. Big warm welcome, please, all the way from Tokyo via New Zealand. Kuteko, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Firstly, apologies for my voice. Um, something usually sounded like Darth Vader, but I guess I'm just happy I can talk because yesterday I couldn't speak at all. So, um, are these not going? What? No, three now. Okay. So, hopefully, one of these three microphones are working. So, getting straight into it. So, what do we do? We're an interactive augmented reality company. So, we bring colouring pages to life in uh, interactive 3D. So, we take the picture that you see on the left there. Kids can colour it, and then we bring it alive, inclusive of the colouring that you put on the page as well. So what's worth mentioning here is traditional AR, um, one of the golden rules is that you don't change the marker. So what, sorry, I didn't realise these other ones went on. Um, that usually what pops up for you is what pops up for me, and you have no ability to modify the image. Uh, what we're doing means that you can uh, draw all over the image, change as much as you like, and it'll all come to life. So, first thing to do is a brief uh, video, if this will play. Um, how do I get this to play? Maybe it doesn't. Right. Uh, well, unfortunately, uh, if you want to see it, you'll have to come see it uh, live. I don't know how to get this video to play, but we'll move on. So, um, brief background of the company. It was started some, by some uh, PhD research in New Zealand. Uh, initial company was founded. Uh, launched a, an a initial iOS and Android app in July 2013. In the company raised a pre-seed round of, of 200k from some early uh, seed investors in New Zealand. Uh, we've moved the operational team to, to Japan. Uh, the R&D is still in New Zealand to be close to this uh, research lab. Uh, and we're now raising a seed round um, of, of a million US, which uh, happy to announce that we're, we're oversubscribed. Um, so we'll be closing that in the next couple of weeks. Uh, although I would say uh, one of the reasons we're here is that uh, if there are any strategic investors, um, we'll always make room for those, so let us know. Um, so the core team, uh, on the bottom uh, corners there, Julian uh, and Adrian, both the PhDs in augmented reality. Uh, Adrian in the visual experience and Julian in the user experience. Um, so they, they really at the cutting edge of AR stuff that's going on in the world. Um, Shun has uh, led all the, all the content creation, um, which is actually one of the reasons that a lot of the, a lot of the big companies we're talking to have approached us, because they've been very impressed by the quality of content we've got on there. Uh, and then on the top row, um, Katie, who uh, originally um, was the one that got the whole company going, she was originally the only non-technical person in the company, uh, she's led all the product creation to date um, and also has the advantage of, of speaking Korean, Chinese, Japanese and English. So she's here as well if, if anyone wants to have a chat in Chinese. Um, and then myself, I actually used to work for the venture capital company that did the seed round, uh, the pre-seed round. Um, so after investing, um, basically I decided the company was so good that I'd leave my job and I'm joined full time. So here we are. So our product... Um, currently, it's very simple. It's basically a library of colouring pages. Uh, we've just got a library of pages which you can print off for free in colour, uh, and then you hit play and they'll come to life. Um, and uh, as it will evolve, essentially we're going to become an AR platform or content marketplace. So really initially growing that library, uh, but then we'll expand to use the technology for a whole lot of other applications, which will be standalone but, but linked apps, but really growing that platform of, of AR content. So I'll just move on to this one um, uh, for a little while. Uh, this is sort of the, I guess what I would say, the AR e uh, entertainment ecosystem. So there's quite a lot of information on there, but it really shows exactly where we fit. Um, so at the top, you've got a whole lot of uh, base technologies. Um, this is things like Euphoria, which is the tracking technology we use, Unity. Um, and at the bottom, you've got a whole lot of brands and entertainment. But there's a big gap between them. Um, and basically what we're doing is we're connecting the physical with digital. Uh, we're filling the gap between the base layer technologies and, and, the, and the content owners. Um, and the, the things we're doing in there is we've got a whole lot of enabling technologies, such as these colour extraction things, which allow us to turn colouring pages uh, into AR. 
There's a whole lot of other things that we are doing at the moment, colour analysis, which means that how you colour the page determines what the characters do when they pop up. Um, uh, Multi-marker tracking allows us to have multiple pages, stick them together, uh, and they'll pop up. So, for example, you have Pokemon characters, put two of them together, they'll pop up and fight each other. Um, and then the next thing we're doing is uh, capitalising capitalizing on what is an extremely fragmented market in the AR space. Uh, and, and creating a, a platform, a content marketplace. So currently as the market exists that users have to download a separate app for every band which is a terrible experience for the user. We're putting all this content in the same place. And then on the app we've got our content but then we're adding third party content as well. So obviously if anyone's interested I can talk about this for hours so uh, come and have a chat. Uh, and just very briefly some of the other areas of AR we could move into in the future. Uh, education, e-commerce, advertising, they're all uh, using AR stuff which is much less sophisticated than what we're currently doing, so at some stage we may, may move into those. Uh, very quickly on the business model, essentially we've got a whole lot of uh, free content which um, users can, can use initially, uh, then we've got a whole lot of additional content which users pay to unlock, uh, and then uh, as we build these additional apps, um, we'll, they'll be standalone and link. Um, better go quickly. Well, so very quickly, that's a, a sort of um, technical roadmap. So far, we've got 450,000 downloads. This has been all organic, um, and we've got we're about to release some uh, movie characters uh, along with some multi-million distribution from some US food companies. Um, and very quickly, in my last 30 seconds, this is our current user base: mainly Japan, US, Korea, and we're here to. Maybe you missed our rehearsal session yesterday. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, how many users do you have? Instruction here when we doing the original. Sorry. How many users do you have? Sorry. How many users do you have? Uh, Four hundred fifty thousand. So no. Active. Uh, the I'd have to double check, but it's probably about a third of that. I guess at the moment, um, it's obviously lower than we hope. Essentially, the way I'd explain it at the moment is we've got a library with four books in it. Um, so obviously people come back for a couple of times and then, and then don't come back. Um, so we're obviously adding a lot more content and, and the big push at the moment is adding uh, third party content. So um, you know, th these are the likes of movie characters and things like that. So. You went pretty quickly but too quickly for me. What was your business model? Um, so essentially it's premium. So there's some free content and then there's additional content that users can unlock. Uh, and then as we start using the technology for a whole lot of separate standalone apps, each of those will have their own, um, own revenue stream. Excellent. Thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it, Edwin. Give Edwin... Show him. Give it up for Edwin, everybody. Thank you.